Hi, everyone. I'm Dr. Rena Malik. Today, we're going to talk about something that affects millions of people, but often goes unnoticed until it's too late, sarcopenia, which is the gradual loss of muscle mass as we age. Now, most people think bone broth is the secret to maintaining strong muscles, but the truth is there's actually a much more powerful food that not only helps you build muscle, but also fights back against sarcopenia directly. If you're over 40 or if you're trying to preserve your strength and independence as you age, this is a conversation you can't afford to miss because what I'm about to share with you could literally change the way you think about food, exercise, and muscle health. Sarcopenia is one of those medical terms that sounds complicated, but its impact is very simple. It means the body is losing muscle mass and strength with age. This doesn't just affect how strong you feel at the gym, but it affects daily life. Simple tasks like climbing stairs, lifting groceries, or even standing up from a chair become harder. What's more alarming is that muscle is a metabolically active tissue. The less muscle you have, the slower your metabolism becomes, which leads to weight gain, insulin resistance, and higher risk of chronic diseases. Sarcopenia often starts in your 30s and 40s, progressing quietly over decades. By the time many people notice it, they've already lost 30 to 40% of their muscle mass. That's not just about vanity or appearance, it's about survival. Studies show that individuals with greater muscle mass have lower mortality rates, better immune function, and faster recovery from illness or injury. Muscle is your body's reservoir of amino acids critical for healing. And it doesn't just support physical strength, it affects balance, coordination, and independence. When sarcopenia sets in, the risk of falls and fractures skyrockets. One hip fracture in older age can change the course of someone's life completely. Mm. And while many people look to trendy health fixes like bone broth to prevent it, the reality is bone broth is mostly collagen, which is good for skin and joints, but doesn't supply the essential amino acids needed for muscle repair and growth. To truly fight sarcopenia, we need a food that's rich in complete proteins, provides the necessary building blocks for muscle, and can be incorporated into everyday diets without much complication. This is where science shifts the conversation from tradition to evidence, and the food I'll be revealing today is backed by extensive clinical research as one of the most effective muscle-preserving, muscle-building foods we know. Bone broth has gained huge popularity as a superfood, and while it does have some benefits, it's important to understand its limitations when it comes to muscle health. Bone broth is rich in gelatin and collagen, which are fantastic for joint health, skin elasticity, and gut support. But when we talk about sarcopenia and muscle preservation, the story changes. Muscle tissue requires specific amino acids like leucine, isoleucine, and valine, known as branch chain amino acids, or BCAs, which are not abundant in bone broth. Collagen protein lacks enough of these critical amino acids, meaning it cannot effectively stimulate muscle protein synthesis, the process by which your body builds and repairs muscle. Think of it this way. If muscle is like a house being built, then collagen provides bricks that are useful for patching up walls. But what you really need are steel beams to give the structure strength and stability. Bone broth simply doesn't supply those beans. In fact, studies show that while collagen can help with connective tissues, it performs very poorly in comparison to foods rich in complete protein when it comes to muscle maintenance. This is why people who rely heavily on bone broth often don't see real improvements in muscle strength or size. Another limitation is that bone broth tends to be low in calories and protein overall, making it difficult to meet your daily protein needs with broth alone. Most servings of bone broth contain just a few grams of protein, whereas Muscle maintenance requires upwards of 25 to 30 grams of high quality protein at each meal. Bone broth also lacks other vital nutrients like vitamin D, calcium, and omega-3 fatty acids, which all play supportive roles in muscle and bone health. So while bone broth may feel comforting, warming, and even healing to some degree, it's not going to protect you from muscle decline. That's why we need to focus on a food that truly works at the cellular level to trigger muscle protein synthesis, repair fibers, and build functional strength. And when I reveal this food, you'll see why it completely outshines bone broth when the goal is not just to maintain health, but to actively fight back against sarcopenia and promote longevity. 
The food that truly combats sarcopenia is one that provides high quality, complete protein with a rich supply of leucine, the amino acid most responsible for stimulating muscle growth. This food is lean animal protein, particularly foods like chicken breast, turkey, eggs, and especially whey protein. Whey protein in particular is considered the gold standard for muscle health because it's rapidly absorbed, rich in leucine, and triggers muscle protein synthesis more effectively than almost any other food. For old adults, getting enough leucine is critical because the body becomes less efficient at building muscle with age. This phenomenon is called anabolic resistance. To overcome it, we need to not only increase total protein intake, but also ensure that each meal delivers a leucine-rich dose of about 2.5 to 3 grams. That's roughly equivalent to 25 to 30 grams of high-quality protein per meal. Research shows that spreading protein evenly throughout the day is far more effective than loading it all at dinner. For example, starting your day with scrambled eggs, having grilled chicken or fish at lunch, and a protein shake or lean beef at dinner ensures a a steady supply of amino acids. This not only helps maintain muscle, but also supports energy, metabolism, and even brain health. High quality protein also supports satiety, which helps prevent overeating and weight gain, another major factor that contributes to declining muscle mass. What makes whey protein particularly special is that it's convenient versatile and easy to digest even in people with reduced appetite which is common as we age a simple protein shake post-workout or as a snack can bridge the gap between what you're eating and what your muscles truly need clinical trials have repeatedly shown that older adults who consume whey protein combined with resistance training experience significant improvements in muscle mass strength and function this food doesn't just slow sarcopenia it reverses it in many cases making it one of the most powerful tools we have against age muscle decline. Leucine is often referred to as the trigger amino acid for muscle growth, and for good reason. Unlike other amino acids, leucine plays a unique signaling role in activating the mTOR pathway, which is the body's main switch for building new muscle. Without enough leucine, muscle protein synthesis is weak or incomplete, no matter how much total protein you eat. For younger people, smaller amounts of leucine can stimulate growth, but as we age, our muscles become resistant to these signals. That's why older adults require higher doses of leucine to achieve the same effect. This is one of the key reasons why bone broth and even collagen supplements don't cut it for sarcopenia prevention. They simply don't provide enough leucine. Foods that are naturally high in leucine include whey protein, beef, chicken, fish, and eggs. A typical serving of whey protein contains about 2.5 to 3 grams of leucine making it ideal for reaching the threshold needed to stimulate muscle growth. To put this in perspective, you'd have to drink massive amounts of bone broth just to get close to the leucine found in a single serving of whey protein. That's not practical or effective. The science is clear. Leucine-rich foods are the foundation of any anti-sarcopenia nutrition plan. Beyond just muscle growth, leucine also plays a role in stabilizing blood sugar, supporting wound healing, and improving recovery from exercise. This makes it a multifunctional nutrient with benefits that extend far beyond the gym. Another fascinating aspect of leucine is its synergy with resistance training. When you consume leucine-rich protein after strength training, the results are amplified, leading to greater muscle repair and growth. We have Lucine Grambogel with Dr. Mary Bavatsky participating and reading the stress bowl. And that's why timing and quality both matter. For anyone over 40, making sure every meal has a leucine punch isn't just helpful, it's necessary to preserve strength, independence, and vitality well into later decades of life. One of the biggest challenges people face is not knowing how to practically include high quality protein in their everyday routines. Many people still center their meals around carbohydrates or fats, leaving protein as an afterthought, but the strategy should be flipped. Protein should be the star of your plate. A good approach is to aim for at least 25 to 30 grams of protein at each meal. For breakfast, instead of just toast or cereal, include three eggs, Greek yogurt, or a protein shake. At lunch, prioritize lean chicken, fish, or tofu if you're plant-based, paired with vegetables and healthy fats. For dinner, build your plate around salmon, turkey, or lean beef and add nutrient-dense sides like quinoa or lentils. 
Snacks are another opportunity to boost protein intake. Cottage cheese, string cheese, hard-boiled eggs, or a scoop of whey protein blended into a smoothie are excellent options. If you're older or dealing with reduced appetite, smaller, more frequent meals may help you meet your protein goals without feeling overwhelmed. Pairing protein with resistance training makes the effect even more powerful. Something as simple as lifting weights twice a week combined with adequate protein can dramatically improve strength and slow muscle decline. For those who struggle with digestion, hydrolyzed whey or plant-based protein powders can make protein easier to absorb. It's also helpful to plan ahead. Prepping meals with high protein options ensures you won't skip it when life gets busy. Another important piece is hydration. Muscle is about 75% water and dehydration impairs muscle function and recovery. Combining adequate hydration with protein-rich meals creates the ideal environment for muscles to thrive. Over time, these small, consistent changes add up, providing the nutrients your body needs not just to maintain muscle, but to thrive in every aspect of daily living. When you make protein a priority, you're not just feeding your body, you're actively protecting yourself from the risks of sarcopenia and reclaiming your vitality. While protein and leucine are the cornerstones of fighting sarcopenia, it's important to see the bigger picture. Muscle health is not just about one food or one nutrient, but how everything comes together in your lifestyle. Resistance training, regular movement, proper sleep, and stress management all play key roles in how well your muscles respond to nutrition. Exercise creates the demand while protein provides the supply. Without both, the system doesn't function optimally. Sleep is another critical factor. During deep sleep, the body releases growth hormone, which aids in tissue repair and muscle growth. Chronic stress, on the other hand, elevates cortisol levels, which break down muscle tissue and accelerate sarcopenia. This means that lifestyle factors either amplify or hinder the benefits of nutrition. On top of this, micronutrients such as vitamin D, magnesium, and omega-3 fatty acids play supporting roles in muscle contraction, energy metabolism, and inflammation control. Diets rich in vegetables, whole grains, nuts, seeds, and fatty fish complement high-quality protein intake, creating an environment where muscles can thrive. Social factors matter too. Studies consistently show that people who engage in group exercise, or share meals with family and friends are more likely to stick to healthy habits. Um, this highlights that muscle health isn't just physical, it's emotional and social as well. Ultimately, building and preserving muscle isn't about vanity or chasing fitness trends. It's about preserving independence, protecting against disease, and enhancing quality of life at every age. By choosing foods that truly build muscle and by integrating them into a holistic lifestyle, you're not just adding years to your life, but life to your years. 